Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Rain Ventures. I'm Bailey Rain and everyone knows we switched from Polaris to Kawasaki. Um, if you've been following us for a while, but we haven't yet done an accessory video on our new Kawasaki KRX 1000 ES. So that's what today's video is about. Coming up. everyone so we're gonna start from the front and kind of work our way back as you can see we no longer have our front bumper I think we might have shown that in a previous video but we got rid of the front bumper or <laughs> the very first thing we hit that that happened so anyways I don't know if we did I don't think we shared that or maybe we didn't we literally, might have to find a picture it'll pop up here. literally the very first thing <laughs> and on trail two at Windrock I have no idea what the heck happened I mean lovely springs but anyways we literally hit something and it completely like crippled it I just honestly feel like there was a flaw in in that front bumper but anyways yeah. so um moving on from there if I open this up we ended up mounting our light that we had bought for the front bumper there because we no longer had a front bumper wow is that dirty anyways moving on from there um we have we added the 4500 pound synthetic rope winch onto it and then we just added this piece of rubber here just because on my cousins they ended up always having mud there and we were like okay might as well stop the hitting uh trail armor skid plate is underneath the whole entire thing we added the trail armor a arm guards and that being the case we didn't first didn't know if we'd like them because of this piece right here going across we thought it would break easily but these things are awesome they're phenomenal uh, moving up from there we ended up going with bandit it's stage three springs the whole both the top and the bottom unfortunately they're the only one i say unfortunately but so far no complaints but uh they're the only ones that make springs for the machine at the moment and we tried to contact shock therapy numerous times and they kept saying, well, eventually we'll get it. Well, eventually we'll get it. Well, eventually it was too long for us. So I didn't want to wait any longer. And then we kind of already did a video on all the stuff we did to stop it from water coming through. Um, as you can see going up here, we did the extended fender flares. We made our own mud flaps. So we didn't buy those, but we still added them to it. The, uh, we only did the extended fender flares on the front. We have the rear ones. We just left the rear ones because it wasn't that big of a deal. We have the mirrors right here that we put on, on both these mirrors and also the rear view mirror. It's much better since we don't have a spare tire carrier because obviously if you have a spare tire carrier, it's kind of useless to it. Um, we did do the cab seal kit, which is right here, there, and so on. And then I can actually show or share this but we made it to where we could actually remove our seats and by what we did with that so we ended up taking it off and you can see on there the tracks right here we welded this track and then we ended up using these holes for it people do make kits but while we were being cheap and we didn't want to spend the extra money on paying for that kit so we just kind of made our own it wasn't that big of a deal it's just a few pieces of metal front and back and some bolts um, going on to the inside side of the machine she can kind of show you who we did the windshield wiper um trying to blank what the heck you want to call it windshield <laughs> wiper kit i guess the best way of explaining it it has both the washer fluid and the actual windshield wiper and then we also did the heater kit on the machine and that works pretty darn well i can't complain yeah. and we did all kinds of insulating which we don't have pictures or videos of of that just because when we first got the machine we insulated the machine very very well that was my biggest thing because my cousin's kawasaki was very very hot and that was one thing i wanted to stop from happening because most of the time we don't ride in the well i was gonna say we don't ride in the winter but we do ride in the winter but it's the difference you can put on extra clothing if you're cold so it wasn't as big of a deal versus the summer you can only take so much clothing off <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but um we added our own sound don't bar. ride naked guys don't ride naked <laughs> <laughs> we added our own sound bar unfortunately i don't like kawasaki's uh stereo system that they have just the way it's done 
So we added our own soundbar. We had two of them, but for whatever reason, they just wouldn't, they didn't want to link together correctly. I don't really know why, but- It's it, plenty loud enough with that just, one. Yeah, just the one, but just one of those things. Um, we did put this other roof on it, but we had the Polysport roof, which went, came with it. We ended up putting on this one. Honestly, if I were to do it again, I'd probably just stick with the Poly one for the time I like the being. little baby sunroof. Okay, well, it was an, <laughs> it was an additional five hundred and fifty dollars for it, so I don't know if it's really worth yeah, it or not. No. But um, we did do the real pa rear panel, which if you guys have watched our other video on the Polaris, that was the one complaint that I had, and I know we talked about how it, in the uh, other KRX accessory video how much better of a fit and finish this is than the Polaris. The Polaris, unfortunately, was kind of a piece of junk in my opinion. Um, going on from there. Yeah. Gotta you... put the chair back. Oh, I can do that. <laughs> but we made it just because it's nice to be able to actually take your seats out when you're wanting to clean. And it's a pretty simple thing to put back in. You just gotta launch your seatbelt. And that's good to go. Um, the trail armor, we did do the boat sides right here. This part, and then we added up adding a piece of foam to it and then some tape. You can see the tape is starting to fail, but it's stopping all the mud. Uh, I've watched other videos where people have this yeah, we completely just cake. Watched, was it, blown budget? Yeah, blown budget. Plus. No diss on blown budget. It's not them. It's just even mm. they talked about they're carrying like 50 to 80 pounds of extra mud on yeah. their machine because of this not being filled and then in. When they were showing that, he's like, and that's why we foamed on. Yeah, that's why I put <laughs> foam in there. You can actually see it. I don't know. It's it's really dense foam right there. Yep. So that was something that I, I wanted to do. And then we foamed all of this, which I don't know, maybe she can do a video, show it up in there, all the foaming that we did. Yeah, it's a lot. I did a lot of foaming, <laughs> I, but I did a lot of insulating on the whole entire thing. As you can see, the rear springs again from Bandit, they're stage three. I think they're night and day over factory, but I'm probably not the best one to explain it because I absolutely hate factory springs. I think they're awful personally, but that's just my opinion. Uh, as you guys can see, the tires, we have the standard Rockzilla compound. We've had the carnivores, which I think are probably one of the worst tires I've ha seen out there. And then we had the uh, sticky compound, and then we have the standard compound now. And I'll probably do a combination of running sticky in the back and standard up front, since I have both of them. And then eventually I'll probably just go all sticky just because what, like other people have said, why put the machine through more than what it has to if you have a better tire. Yeah. Um, we put the rear tail box on. It's awesome for carrying all the different things. Plus it keeps in the cooler and gas can, whatever else you want to put it in the rear of your bed. I think it's awesome. We put the uh, hitch on right here from T-Rex. I actually really think they did a good job with this one compared to other ones that I've seen. And then this was the thing that was off the Polaris. Oh wow, that's loose. I'm glad I checked that. I'll have to make sure I tighten that. Good thing you messed with it. Um, <laughs> trying to think, we didn't, that's, oh, I put a spare, I put a dual battery on this thing. I don't know if she'll be able to show it or not, but I ended up welding a piece of metal or my cousin welded a piece of metal on down there. And then I ended up putting a spare battery just to have a second battery on the machine because it was something that I really wanted to do. And then if you look inside there, you can see where we insulated the lines that go towards the cab. It's not perfect, but it's much better. I did more foaming there. I'm trying to think if there anything else we didn't do as many accessories on this one as we did on the Polaris. Yeah. Thank goodness, to be honest with you, because as everyone knows how expensive they are. Mm -hmm. Can you think of anything else? Well, we have that, the, we have where we can hook the, um, what the heck is that tablet? thing called? Tablet in. Well, yeah, it's I guess just you like can, Velcro, you but can show it. obviously we. So we just had, I had my cousin 3D print this little piece of plastic right here. And then Velcro's here, 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 and here. And then I velcro the back side of the tablet, and the tablet just sits there. Yep. And normally it works really well. Last video, I think just because it was cold, it didn't want to work, sit there as well. But we were also going up trail 44, and that trail has just really rough. It's really rutted out. <laughs> so I kind of understand why it didn't want to hold as well. But normally we don't have any issues. 
Um, obviously, I didn't mention the glass windshield, but the glass windshield is, in my opinion, a lot better than the polycarbonate one, as we talked about the windshield wiper. Er, Unless you flip on the roof and crack it, which is possible. Yeah, well, you can pretty much crack it, unfortunately. That's only a bad thing. You can crack it compared to, obviously, polycarbonate. You can crack, but it's a whole lot harder. Yeah. But they, they last a lot. The glass lasts a lot longer without scratching up. Mm -hmm. Trying to think if there's anything else. I mean, unfortunately, I, I wish I could take apart the machine and show you all the insulating that we did. But that's a lot of work. If we end up ever going back to it, we'll do a short video on it. But I literally have lined all of these with extra foam all the way through and our machine is pretty darn comfortable even in 90 degree weather it's not that hot compared mm -hmm. to other ones yeah. so all that insulation helps i don't know if you have anything else that you can think of or say or mm -mm. i don't think I don't, so i don't think there's a, as many accessories on it we learned our lesson from Brennan not to get the side doors because all those do is fog up and his cousin with the green kawasaki cause issues so yeah, that was that's pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions on anything, let us know. Yeah, just comment down below. We're really good about responding as quickly as we can. I mean, you guys so. obviously saw the door bushings. That was in a different video, so mm -hmm. we did do the door bushings. And we, to me, that was a must. The brakes. And then we did do the different brake pads mm -hmm. on it, but that's just unfortunately <laughs> par for the it's course. Need to be done. So. so other than that, that's pretty much everything we have. Yeah. So. Hopefully you guys found this video fun and informational. If you have any questions, like we said, please don't forget to comment them below and subscribe, please. And like and share. All right, I guess that's it guys. Bye. So I forgot one, uh, one thing, I guess two things, the rear camera right there. And then also the front camera, which is right there i forgot about them because they're absolutely useless the way kawasaki has it set up with their system right now um polaris every time you would go in reverse the camera would automatically come on or switch on sorry trying to get the light thing correctly um every time you just went in reverse it would automatically do it this is not the case and unfortunately you can't adjust any of your settings on the screen right here while you are moving so it's kind of useless versus players you could change it at any time it's something that kawasaki really needs to update and fix because otherwise to me the cameras are absolutely useless and i would never spend the 250 dollars the two of them again but just wanted to give that quick update